And we're back with a new episode of Talking with Doyle. I'm Hunter Kipe, and I'm with State Representative Doyle Hefley. And we're back in session with both the House and the Senate. And yesterday, switching gears, going to the other chamber, uh, today we wanted to talk about Senate Resolution 251, which actually is a re resolution calling Governor Shapiro to offer the services of the Pennsylvania National Guard to deploy Texas in support of Operation Lone Star. That was adopted uh, with, I believe, a 27 to 22 vote. So, Doyle, yeah. what do you think about that? Well, I think uh, I think you see the contrast between what the House is doing and what the Senate is doing. The Senate, Senate is being proactive and wanting to uh, stand up for other states as we look at the issue right now with illegal immigration. Um, we have a similar resolution in the House. Uh, unfortunately, the Speaker isn't going to bring that resolution up in the House. Uh, but I think it's a – I think really – Shame on the federal government for putting Texas in a position where they're having to spend resources to defend their border. Yeah. Um, and what we're seeing is, uh, you know, the massive amounts of human trafficking, the fentanyl and drugs that are coming through uh, or, or porous borders, and just the 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 humanitarian issue when we have so many people coming in um, that just flooding the border and then being dispersed throughout the state. So uh, I think it's I think it's a good step to show um, that we're going to support. Uh, the rule of law and support uh, other states that that are combating and really being on the front lines of this illegal immigration uh, yeah. issue. Well, like you mentioned before, there was either an amendment or a resolution about illegal immigration, mm -hmm. and didn't the speaker rule it out of order? Yeah, the, How is that possible? Yeah, the uh, the speaker um, and the the uh, what I like to refer to as a gerrymandered Democrat majority, uh, they do not want to talk about illegal immigration at all. And there was a, uh, amendments yesterday uh, to address some of those issues, mm -hmm. and they were all ruled out of order. They were never even put, allowed to be put up for a vote on the House floor. Look, if you want to vote against it, then vote yeah. against it. But just continuing to block every effort, I hear about it from the people in my community. Mm -hmm. uh, we see it uh, with, with the amount of fentanyl deaths, 5,700 last year alone in the state of Pennsylvania, 122,000 across the nation. And we talked a lot about that in other podcasts. So that's one part of the, of the issue. But the other part of the issue is is the demand that it's putting on, on our, our human services. We have so many people coming in. I mean, you have school districts that are just, you know, overflowing with, with children, migrant children. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and now we're having to, to teach courses um, other than in Spanish or in other languages. Yeah. And then that burden... The state isn't giving, and the federal government isn't giving additional resources to those schools. Mm -hmm. That burden is falling back on the on the property taxpayers in those districts here in Pennsylvania. Yeah, and the crazy thing about it too is illegal immigration. It's not a new topic for Pennsylvania. In the early 2000s, illegal immigration really swept through Hazleton, just mm -hmm. above Carbon County. So, especially people up north, we're used to the idea of illegal immigration, and now it's really coming full throttle. Yeah, and and I think, you know, it needs to be said that. We are a nation of immigrants, mm -hmm. and anybody that wants to come to our country is welcome yes. to come here legally. If you want to, I, mean, I talk to a lot of folks that have that own small businesses that have come from from Asia or they've come from from other countries, and they come here legally yeah. and they start a business and they're a thriving part of our community, and that's what we want. I mean, this isn't about how somebody looks or anything else. This is about, you know, making sure that we have systems in place so that when people want to come to this country legally, mm -hmm. they can they can do that. They can get their green card, they can get their citizenship, they pay taxes, they start a business, and they're a thriving part of our community, not coming in. Uh, and a lot of these folks, even with the in the illegal community, they don't want to call police. So a lot of them are victims mm -hmm. of crime and violence and human exactly. trafficking. And they're being they're being, you know, taken advantage of. A lot of them are working jobs that are paying less than minimum wage. You know, it, it, it's ironic that the Democrats always want to talk about increasing the minimum wage, yeah. but yet they're supporting an illegal workforce mm -hmm. that's depressing the wages. Now, we all know that there's a labor shortage, so we need people at work. Anybody that wants to come here and get a job and be part of our community, I'm all for it. But let's do it legally. And right now, the first thing we need to do is stop the, the flood of, of illegal immigrants coming across our southern border because that's impacting Pennsylvania. You see it in Philadelphia. You see it in Hazleton. You see it in Lehigh Valley. It's not fair to those individuals. How are you going to pursue the American dream if you're living in the shadows? Yeah. And a lot of illegal immigrate, 
immigrants they're falling through the cracks a lot of them unfortunately are criminals and a lot of people are in fear i'm in fear i'm a young woman mm. and i don't want to leave my house because we see all these people who young women who are being murdered just by going for a run we saw that a couple months mm. ago it wasn't in pennsylvania but nonetheless this is a a growing issue across the nation oh it is and, and you know we want to keep all of our streets safe uh, and we want to you mm -hmm. know and there's good and bad in, in every culture and every community but if we know if, if we have borders that are secure we're going to know if there's a, somebody who who's a violent felon from another country who's trying to come into our country and we're going to keep them out in the get right from the get-go you see what happened in uh, in new york with those uh Law enforcement, the New York police officers were assaulted by a gang of illegal immigrants, mm -hmm. and uh, and then the judge let them out on cashless bail, and they just they dispersed all over the nation, never to be caught. And yesterday on the House floor, um, Representative Martina White had an amendment in Pennsylvania that would have said if somebody assaults a police officer, mm -hmm. it would have set their bail at a million dollars. And she was speaking on her amendment after it was ruled out of order by the speaker who would not allow that amendment to just be talked about and voted on the floor. And then she 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 gaveled her down when she referenced why this law would be important because of what happened in New York, which is all part of the conversation, exactly why we're looking at this. And she wouldn't even allow it to be mentioned on the floor. We have, you know, we have so many issues in our Commonwealth and, and the governor is looking at his budget and he wants to spend money here, spends money here. You know, we look at early childhood education. We look at intellectual disabilities. Those are dollars that, that the Commonwealth spends to take, to take care of a population of people. But yet if we're spending those dollars, uh, it, people that are illegally accessing these who aren't benefits. helping us, who aren't helping our community, yeah, not and, helping and not paying society. taxes. It's not good for our commonwealth. Yeah.